Hi, my name is Asila Tabapat and I'm talking about Babel for Academics. So I'm an academic at a university and I use Emacs, Org Mode and Babel for a whole bunch of work-related tasks. And there are many other tools that one could use to help with this workflow. I won't be going through all of these and the ones that I've listed are just a few of the many that are available. Today I'll really be talking about my teaching workflow. Uh, so let's just dive right in to uh, a demo. So the first file that I want to show you is the notes and admin file. From this file, I'll generate a nice looking PDF document of notes, and I'll also keep track of some course admin. Um, so the file that I have here is um, this one. And all of the files that I'm going to show you today are taken from a course that I'm teaching uh, at the moment this semester. So I plan to, uh, so what I want to do is export this entire document to LaTeX um, because this is where I'll be writing my course notes. But before I do that, uh, I have some setup uh, that I want to do. And you'll notice some of these headings are tagged as no export and they won't be exported. So um, the startup setting I'll skip. And then the main thing here is the LaTeX setup. So I'm using these hash plus um, option lines and I've told uh, um, org that I want to use an unusual LaTeX class. So I'll have to tell org about it later. So I'll do that in a moment. And I have some LaTeX header lines and so on. And then I have some export settings. So the first export setting is to export into a different directory, not just at the same level, because I want everything to go into the artifacts directory and then I can ignore that artifacts directory using Git. Uh, and this is the first source code block that we see, uh, which is the Babel um, side of things. And I've called it export setup. Um, the way I write it is hash plus begin underscore SRC, the language that I want to use, which is Emacs Lisp, and maybe some options. And this is collapsed at the moment. If I expand it, you'll see uh, inside here, this is really just Elisp, Emacs Lisp. So the first thing I've done is I've added uh, uh, this LaTeX class to the list of known LaTeX classes. And the second thing I've done is I have locally set the value of org LaTeX PDF process, which is the compiler, to something. Um, uh, this is complicated, this command is complicated, I guess, but what the main thing it's doing is that it's moving the generated output, sorry, the generated image files to the output directory so that everything can remain inside of this artifacts directory. Uh, and maybe it's doing some other things. And then there are some other um, setup options that I'll skip. So uh, this is a source code block. Inside of the source code block, everything is basically Emacs Lisp. How do I... Um, evaluate this, I just press Control c Control c and it evaluates everything. But if I want to automate the evaluation, there's one other thing I can do. So let me jump down, um, sorry, to the local variables section. Um, so in this local variables section, I have an eval block. So I've added a certain hook to the org export before processing hook. And that just resolves this reference from this file. So it, it, it looks for um, a code block titled export-setup and it runs it right before exporting and this is all local to this uh, this buffer. Uh, so before I export it, it it'll then read the correct options. And after this um, uh, setup I have uh, the course plan which is just what goes into my agenda as to-dos. I'll skip that and after that I have the actual notes and what they actually look like um, so this is what they actually look like. Um, nicely latex with diagrams and so on, everything generated from that single org file. So I'll say more about diagrams later. Uh, I also have to write assignments and assignment solutions, so let me jump to that. Again, this is a very similar file, but I want to now export um, different headings to different files. This is not going to be exported all at once. So again, I have some setup, some general setup that I'll skip. Export setup, just like before. Um, code setup um, for Python, really. So I, I have a various, a bunch of different languages here, so shell and Python. And um, some helper functions. So let me jump to this one called toggle solutions. So this is again an Emacs Lisp code block. What this does is it tells LaTeX to either toggle solutions true also toggle the display of solutions on or off based on what the tag is for that particular assignment so whether if um, 
the assignment is tagged as solved, then the solution should be displayed, otherwise they shouldn't be. And here, most of the assignments are tagged as solved. Um, so in this case, if I export this, the solutions will be displayed. So let's look at that. Um, so the, I, I, I see the solutions blocks. And um, this is because it's calling the toggle solutions piece of code. And the properties, if I expand this properties draw, you see this, um, this um, uh, output file name has a homework one dash solved. So it has a solved suffix. And this is related to the fact that I have a solved tag up here. So let's see what happens if I delete the solved tag. So nothing's happened yet. But if I save the file, then suddenly this homework one dash solved becomes homework one. And this is desired behavior. This is what I want um, because I want to keep the solved and unsolved files separate. So once again, if I put in the solved tag and if I um, save, I get back the different file name. And how did I achieve this? This is uh, again back in the setup section. It's um, the process export file names block. So it's some some big piece of elist that I that I won't go through. But basically, it's mapping over um, org entries and it's it's either adding or removing this solved suffix based on uh, what tag it, it sees. And uh, okay, when when does this code block get evaluated? Well, I want it to be evaluated right before I save because uh, I change something, I save, and I want the properties um, to be get updated accordingly. So um, if I go down to the local variables section again, again, I have a local variables um, section here, and I'm evaluating this elisp, which is setting the before save hook to resolve the process export file names function. And so that's what gives me that functionality. Okay. Uh, and finally, I have some skeletons, which are, um, uh, Emacs has this, this skeleton language, uh, which is a templating, rudimentary templating language. So I've, I've defined some templates for my assignment and worksheet uh, in this little um, Emacs list block, which I think I usually just evaluate manually. And then if I just call it, I get a nice, nice looking skeleton that gives me this assignment. So one thing I want to show you um, in these assignments, um, or I mean, in this file in particular, are these dot source code blocks. So I've, uh, I've had to type, uh, type in or draw in some graphs in this assignment, and I can do that right from, from from org. So this is some piece of code that's creating a file uh, which has this name. And um, if I evaluate this block, I see a results drawer with this file. And um, this is a PNG file, which now gets embedded into my LaTeX document. So this is nice. I can actually delete this from here, and when I export, um, the file will get attached automatically. Uh, and similarly, in some other assignments here, I have some Python source. So um, I've had to type in some complicated matrices and some complicated matrix products and so on, which I didn't want to do by hand so that I didn't introduce errors. So I've written some Python code. And if I um, control C, control C on this block, you'll notice it's in the session matrix, so it's using the previous, um, the same kind of session. Um, and you'll see that the results, because of the way I chose to format them, look like a nice drawer with nicely formatted LaTeX. So once again, these results I can cut from the file, and the file will get exported. Um, so when the file gets exported, these source code blocks will get evaluated, and the answer will show up uh, in the file. And finally, the last thing I want to show you very briefly is the web page for this um, for this course. Um, the only thing I want to show you here is that I have a Python source code block which pulls in my handwritten course notes and uh, makes them into a nice looking list with a nice looking um, uh, order and uh, then just exports as HTML. So this is what this is what the web page looks like. And you can see it um, at this URL if you go click on the 2021 link at this URL. So that's all that I wanted to say. Uh, thank you very much.